Hey guys, today we are going to learn how to configure D-Link DSL 2730U in wireless access point mode. So let's get started. So let's take a look at the device. So it has uh, four LAN ports, one DSL port, one WPS button, one wireless on-off button and the reset button at the bottom of the device so let's power it on starting from the left is the power led which is red at the moment uh, once the device boots up it will turn into green uh, give it like 60 seconds Meanwhile, we can connect the Ethernet cable into one of the LAN ports at the back. So I've connected LAN port 4 and that's how you know that it is connected to LAN port 4. The other end of the cable will then go to your laptop while setting up the router. So on your screen, uh, press Windows R, type ncpa.cpl, it will open network connections. Double click on Ethernet, click details, and that's how you check your default gateway IP. So open command prompt, continuously ping the gateway. So PING ping space 192.168.1.1 space minus T, and you just keep this continuous ping on so that you can ensure that it is connected at all the time and I just check my cables and that's how I know that it is successful now it has started replying so open a browser I prefer incognito mode type the gateway IP address which is 192.168.1.1 the username is admin by default and the password is also admin admin before we begin any configuration we ensure that the device is reset to factory default so you can hit on restore default setting confirm you can now make full use of the radar which is on continuous ping it has performed a soft reset and rebooted back with the factory default settings you can once again login password is admin in lowercase two things to do here one is setting up the wireless and then uh, also changing the lan ip address of the router So you can set the desired Wi-Fi name here in this box which is mentioned as the SSID I'll be using this for conferencing so set that to conferencing click apply at the bottom
can then click on wireless and then wireless security oh, you can also disable multi api isolation or enable it as per your needs uh, let's set a password to your wi-fi so i prefer security mode to be auto wpa wpa2 with WPA encryption TKIP plus AES which is the highest as per the standards as on today you need to set a password which is minimum 6 characters so I will just use ADMIN and NERC apply next thing to do is going and clicking on local network inside local network the first thing we need to do is disable the DHCP server click apply then change the router IP address into the desired IP range as per your default gateway settings you can also configure a second IP address to get access to this graphical user interface. Click apply. That's how you know that the settings are applied and you start responding from 192.168.1.1 and the new IP address is now going to be 10.175.17.1 so to enable the connection you need to disconnect the cable from the laptop and connect the end to your switch or to the nearest wall network point you can now access the gateway which is 10.175.70.3 and ten one seventy five seventy be my access point IP address so that I can access the graphical user interface anytime and change the settings and that's how you do it thanks for watching